What's up guys, welcome back to another video, this is Xenos Ralambus and in this video, which I just did something magical over here, going from no clothes to clothes, I'm bringing you the second day of this six days workout, so this is day two and we're going to do pull, I'm also going to have the exercises on the screen of the video, so if you want to screenshot this, then just do it right now. So these workouts that I do, they usually take between 30 to maybe 45 minutes uh, if you don't talk. Now if you talk, then expect that it's going to be like 45 minutes or maybe an hour. So before we start the commentary of this video, make sure that you follow me on my Instagram. If you have any questions, just drop me and DM there and I'm super happy to answer to you. So I'm starting this workout with the king of exercises, which is deadlift. And, and deadlift, as you know, is the most exercise that consumes the most energy. To be honest, it's an exercise that I love and hate. And yes, I got injured before from doing deadlifts, but after that I've learned my lesson, I managed to fix my form and now my uh, form is just uh, the best uh, that it could possibly be. So make sure that you're careful when you do this exercise, you don't want any injuries and I highly recommend you to have this in your workout program. Second exercise is the barbell rows. So barbell rows is uh, a very good exercise to target the lats. And one of the mistakes that most people do when they do barbell rows, they don't lean forward enough. So as you can see from the slow motion right now that it's playing, you can see that I'm very well lean form forward. And at the same time, I'm trying to touch the bar at the lower of my abs. This is where you should bring the bar. I almost slide it on my quads as you can see. So this is how you should do barbell rows. For some reason, a lot of people, they get it wrong. They're trying to have them bar higher than what they should have it and they target the traps. So right now, uh, this is not a part of the workout. Sometimes when is my rest time, I just do the speed ball. The speed ball helps me a lot with focus and synchronization. Um, if your gym has it, then you can just try it. After that, I'm continuing on with a superset. So this superset is extremely tough. Again, both exercises are targeting the lats. So I'm starting with the pull downs. I don't put much weight. I think right now it's around 86 kilos, which for me, to be honest, is not a big deal. And then I'm supersetting with pull downs, which is an absolute killer. So you will see that on the second and third set, I was almost dead. So I'm trying to do eight reps on the pull downs and then I'm trying to do eight reps uh, on the pull ups. Unfortunately, because this super set is extremely tiring, maybe I'm going for like five to eight repetitions on the pull ups. Uh, the pull downs is not an issue when you have a good rest time. But uh, honestly, this super set is just super, super difficult. And at the same time, if you notice when I do my workouts, my rest time between the exercises and the sets is just one minute and that's why I managed to complete the workouts super fast. So imagine that this workout took me maybe I think 32 minutes to complete it, which this is extremely fast. I mean this is how long I like to work out. I don't like to stay for like one or one and a half hours in the gym. I get very bored to be honest. I just like to do my workouts as fast as possible and just make sure that I get some good pump because the minimal rest time you have, the more pump you get and the more you feel the workout. So that's it for this superset. I highly recommend you to have it in your workout. And after this superset, I'm continuing with probably something that not many people, they have it in their workout, is the TRX. So the TRX rows is something that I usually do. If I don't do the TRX rows, then I just replace it with cable rows, um, which both are good, although, I don't know, sometimes I like to have TRX in my workouts. I think it's a very good machine to do with body weights especially and to also engage the lats, not just the lats, I mean, it depends how you use it. So if your gym has it, then I recommend you to, uh, to go for it because I'm sure you will see some uh, really good results with uh, your workouts. So that's it for the back. Then I'm continuing with biceps. 
So for biceps, um, starting with barbell curls, which uh, many people will disagree with me. They will start to hate me because I'm using the squat rack to do barbell curls. But to be honest, I do whatever I want. I don't have anyone to tell me what to do. So uh, if you are gym is empty and you don't have some telling you what to do and I recommend you to go for it although the other option is to do this exercise with the EZ bar uh, personally I just like the massive bar to do barbell curls is how I like to do the exercises now the biggest mistake that most people do they don't, they don't go all the way down when they do this exercise this is something that I always shout to my clients to make sure that they go all the way up and all the way down when they do this exercise and this also it's for the last exercise which is the cable hammer curls if you notice i go full range of motion i don't like to cheat when i do bicep exercises i don't know for some reason people like to cheat make sure just that you go full range of motion so that's it for this video guys if you want more exclusive content and you want to learn more about mindset nutrition and training if you want to learn the more advanced techniques that i'm teaching to my clients then i prepared for you a free training class where i'm showing you exactly how i help my super busy clients get in shape without food restrictions so this link is not going to be in the description below i'm just going to put it right now in the screen so this is a secret link so if you see it right now just go for it register for the training make sure you watch it and see exactly how i help my clients so that's it for this video guys and i'm going to see you again on the next video have a good day